Facebook knows that I'm a woodworker, so it serves a lot of sketchy woodworking ads to me. And today, we're gonna buy all of them. And this video is brought to us by Squarespace. This first one is from Mullet Tools. I like the name, we're already off to a good start. But this is some sort of dust collection boot arm. A little pricey at $149.99, but this is something that I could actually use. I'm on the website. This guy does have a mullet. That's amazing. This is my kind of company. Have you ever seen the movie Run, Ronnie, Run? You're brutalizing me! Eight five-star reviews. I'm always a little sus when every review is five stars. We've purchased some sketchy stuff from Facebook with some definite fake reviews. These seem uh, pretty good. All right, add it to the cart, check out. Total $164.89. I'm not purchasing this because I already own it. This is the Swag Portaband table. Basically, you, you take your little Portaband saw and you put it in this little, ah, freaking pop-ups annoy me. But you put it in your, uh, this little table and it turns it into like a bench top bandsaw. If you do any kind of metalworking, it is highly recommended. I've got a couple things by Swag. Good stuff. Actually, I've got a full video. So we're not gonna talk about it anymore because I got a full video on that guy. Miles Craft Tools. This is some sort of saw guide. Okay, so it's it's like a it's like a we'll call it a poor man's version of a track saw. It looks complicated, but it looks like you can put your jigsaw in there too and do circle cutting. So it's way more than uh, than a track saw. This is weird. It actually takes me to the Home Depot page. We've purchased a lot of sketchy things, and this one looks like it's actually going to the real Home Depot site to purchase it. How many times a week do we go to Home Depot? 10. At least 12. In the cart it goes. So everybody knows Craig. So typically, in these Facebook ad videos, we're buying stuff we've never heard of and we're buying cheap stuff, but the rules state I have to buy every woodworking ad that is served to me. I already have high confidence in Craig Tools, but I need this for the budget shop. It is a hundred, ah, the freaking pop-ups! But I will take your coupon. So, uh, $179.99. Ooh, that's the XL version. More than what I wanna spend. Although I would probably be better off buying the XL version. We're gonna save a few bucks and I'm just going to get the, uh, the non-XL version at $89 in the cart. Checking out. All right, so this is more like it. Company I never heard of, 25% off. Scratch and dent, another freaking, these pop-ups are killing me. Scratch and dent combo, double small carpenter square. I don't know why I need two of them, but $49.99. One free hand. Oh yeah, yeah. Duh. Duh. I can, I can double fist it. I'm not familiar with DFM. For me, the size is also its weakness. I can relate. It doesn't matter what Michael B says, we're gonna get this anyway. Checking out, next. If you've seen any of the other Facebook ad videos, you know that we've been scammed every time. This feels, this feels super sketch, Daniel. I want one of these. It just looks so freaking cool, right? It looks, looks like it's made of brass, it looks high quality. It just, and it looks fun to play with. And I could, I could actually use one of these. Complete home solution. <laughs> that links to the Dippo store? Dipo? Dippo? Dipo? Everything about this is so sketch already. And plus, when you use fire in your little last day promotion sale, 50% off, okay? I doubt, I super, super doubt that we got lucky enough to get this ad on the last day at 50% off. And then the little fire emojis, all of this just screams sketch and even the website feels super sketchy it just doesn't i don't know what it is but it's it's busy but i want one and the rule state i have to purchase everything that is served to me so we're gonna get one at 34 dollars 98 there are no reviews i'm not feeling real good about this one daniel half off dude I mean, you're losing money if you don't buy it. Uh, you'll notice that uh, on my Facebook page, there's a lot of wiener dog stuff. I, uh, I I follow all the wiener dog pages. Okay, don't don't judge me. You can whatever. All right. So this next one is uh, 
wait, Cowrie, Cowrie Man? Don't buy a router plane unless you've seen Cowrie Man. Order now. So uh, I have a router plane, good one. It's either like Lee Valley or Veritas. Well, maybe we can compare it. $89, I mean, it's it's a little on the pricey end is for like budget stuff, but router planes, real good ones are, are expensive. Look at that machined metal and, and polished wood knobs, polished knobs. And you can double fist this one, one for each hand. I have all the confidence in the world that this is a legit company. It looks like they focus on hand tools and looks like machine setup. So shame on me for not knowing who Cowrie Man is, but I, I don't. Oh, ah! another pop up, join our newsletter. How many do we have, four or five? Um, let's go one more. This is Tool Tech, tech. what's up with these names? How do you say that, Tool Tech? So we've already purchased clamping squares like this in a previous Facebook video. So I am not going to get these, but let's click through to the website and let's see what else they have. Clamping squares, but they're, they're uh, 90, 45 degree corner clamps. Let's see what these are about. I don't have anything like this and I could probably use something like this. $59.99, limited stock with the fire emoji. They know what they're doing. They're marketing geniuses. Oh, you know what? This is the company where we bought the um, the Lockmiter bit from. Oh yeah. And actually, I was satisfied with that Lockmiter bit. All right, so uh, legit company, tool tech. That is it. All right, so a lot of times with these Facebook purchases, you don't get any tracking. So you just you just give them your credit card, and then you just hope for the best. We ordered seven things and we got seven things in the mail. That usually doesn't happen. Before we open them up, I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor and that is Squarespace. I've been using Squarespace for a long time. They have amazing tools to help you easily design a website. They have this thing called the Fluid Engine. You basically start with one of their beautiful templates and then you start building your website. It's all drag and drop on mobile or the desktop. It's really easy to do. You don't have to know anything about design. It's all right there for you. It's built into the template. A lot of times when you're making a website, you're reusing a lot of imagery. They now have an asset library where you can upload your logo, your headshot, or whatever, and you can just reuse them. It's a place to store a lot of your images that you can reuse. A lot of you, you're makers and woodworkers and crafters and metal workers, and sometimes you wanna sell your stuff. You could do that on Squarespace. You can also sell digital items on Squarespace. You're at a craft show, you're out and about. Somebody comes to your shop or your store, you can do point of sale. You can use your phone and the Squarespace app to handle that transaction, super easy. This is not like the old days where you needed the, the big cash register and the cha-ching and the plunk, 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 plunk. Some of you might remember when you had to do the credit card processing, you had to have a website, you had to have the credit card processor, you had to have the bank, and you had to have all of the stuff that was insanely hard, well, plus the security certificate. It was, it used to be a huge hassle. Those days are completely gone. It just makes your life so much easier. It makes my life so much easier. Visit squarespace.com for your free trial, and when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash make something for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace. It is time to open up these packages and see what we got. One of them I already opened and we can see what it is. Oops, that's not that's not how this works, Petruto. So we'll we'll wait to test that out. So we got six other packages. Daniel, which one do you want to open? I didn't order any pencils. What the heck is this? Oh, this is the thing. This is the thing. Um, it doesn't. There it goes. It looked like it was brass in the video. That is not brass, that's like a anodized aluminum. And it looks like a different color than what was in the video. It doesn't open and close super easy and it doesn't feel super satisfying. It's like aluminum rubbing on aluminum. You can clearly see like that is super shiny and reflective. And it's got indentations for the, the numbers. That is a completely different material. There are no indentations. They're just printed on there. But when I do get to the website, the actual website, it does look like this. Bait and switch. Does it draw circles? Let's use one of their pencils and find out. 
Heck yeah, it does. Also, that's Adam Savage in the Facebook ad. I, mm, I don't think Complete Home Solution uh, has a deal with Adam Savage to promote this product. I'm just saying. We're gonna rank all the tools from my favorite to least favorite, and since I have nothing to compare this to, we will just let this fall right here for right now. This one's from Mullet. I'm gonna be honest with you, I expected a much bigger box. Like, much bigger. Good, good quality so far, like it feels right. Maybe, maybe I, I judge the size prematurely. The mullet area of my head is the only place that I really can grow hair. <laughs> mullet tools, it is based in uh, Dripping Springs, Texas. So an American company and it's got some really good quality instructions. These little elbows, they, that's nice. That's, that's real nice. Here, play with one. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I don't even think we're gonna need instructions, bro. So I bought the smallest package that they offer and so I don't have the shop vac uh, attachment kit so my setup is pretty jank here that's on me that's not on that's not on them but i got it mounted in my vise here and then hooked up to the shop vac down here i can put this pretty much anywhere i want and then lock this down <laughs> I, I, you're, coming you're, apart, bro. you're laughing at me okay <laughs> Let, let, let's, let's zoom in and I'll show what's actually going on. So everything is friction fit in here. And the further you go in, the, the greater the friction. So I didn't have everything in there all the way. And that's why it's sliding out. And then you can add screws if you want that to be a permanent fixture. So on me, not on them. I think so far it's a good high quality product. Everything feels very well built. And I do think this is something that I would actually, actually use. As far as ranking it, definitely I'm gonna get a lot more use than the, the compass. So I'm gonna put it at number three. This was $164 after shipping. Kind of pricey, but I, I do feel like it's a higher quality item. And if I had the actual shop vac attachment or their cyclone that they also offer, it would even be more useful. So for now, number three. This one I already started to open because it was the last package to arrive and I wasn't sure what it was. But as you can see right there on the box, it says, Woodbricking tools. This is the uh, the corner clamp. Actually, it's got some tone. That's got tone. This has a little lip on there to rest on the board, and then I guess this just goes in there like that, and then that will clamp on there. But my boards are misaligned, so then I got to make an adjustment, and then my boards are not touching again. This is kind of. Thank you, way. All right, then flip it over to the other side. Ah. And again, my boards aren't lining up perfectly. So you gotta tighten and then loosen and then tighten and loosen. And that is, that is that. Um, I mean, it works. There are better ways to do that. This style of corner clamps, this is the Woodpecker's one, much easier to use than this. I prefer this. The, the auto clamping thing is also easier to use than this, but this is definitely my preferred way. So, let's go rank these. If I didn't have any other way to clamp corners, then I would find this useful. But I think there are better ways, and I think I'm gonna find more use out of the circle jig. So I'm gonna put that there for now. Guys, I'm still trying to figure out how to open boxes. This isn't Lou from Unbox Therapy. Oh, it's the router plane. It's the router plane. It's the router plane. It's the router plane. Oh man, feel, touch that. Touch that, dude. Oh, we gotta get it on camera. Touch it on camera. That's nice. You like that knob? I do. That's a nice knob. So how this works is you loosen that and then you can lower and raise 
the blade and then tighten that. I have this little mini Lee Nielsen and I use it every once in a while to clean out a little dado or a rabbit. And I, I could actually use something bigger at times. It's not something that I use a lot, a lot, but when you need to hog away material in a, in a dado, this comes in really handy. A lot of times I'm cutting a dado at the table saw, I will skip setting up a data blade and just do multiple passes. And this happens quite a bit where not all the material gets removed. I'm gonna set my blade depth. I'm assuming this is sharp and that's about right there. And then I can lock that in place. Oh, we gotta come up just a little bit. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's actually right. that, was, that was satisfying. And then you can clean out your dados and rabbits. I've got no complaints about that whatsoever. Zoom in on that, just to show some of the, the nice machining on there. Everything about this is really nice. The handles are insanely smooth and it's all well machined. This was $89 in some sense. I think it was worth every penny. I ain't mad at that at all. There's nothing that I really dislike about this. The only reason I'm going to make it higher than the mullet dust collection arm is I will probably just get more use out of this since I didn't get the shop vac attachment for this or the cyclone for this. It was a tough decision, but I think for now, I'm gonna put this up at number two. We still have the Craig AccuCut system. I'm saving that for last because that's going to be very comparable to that other, that Home Depot thing that we bought earlier. So let's open this first and then we'll do the last two at the same time. So this, my memory is not working. I don't, even by process of elimination, I have no idea of what this is. Oh yeah, this is, uh, this is the little scratch and dent squares. Uh, oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. They do have the little, the little pencil holes. Crash zoom into that motherfucker. You got the little pencil holes in there for your pencil. That's what a pencil hole is for. And then the, the pin. I actually don't know what the pin is for. Dan, do you know what the pin is for? Both of these are very accurate with my known accurate square. It does have holes for the pencil, but you can't use a regular pencil, mechanical only, because it's so thick. And then it has this little pin system, which I wasn't familiar with. I had to play around with it and it took me a while to figure out how it works. So I can stick the pin into the 45 and then put that up against my board. And then that, I could draw 45. I could do the same with a 60 degree and draw a 60. As far as like everyday woodworking stuff, I could see me using these quite a bit. So I'm gonna move this down, I'm gonna move this down, I'm gonna move my mullet down, and then... The, Did you say you're gonna move your mullet down? I'm gonna move my mullet down. And then I'm gonna put these at number two. I would use these more than anything else. They're gonna be super handy, especially with like a lot of fine woodworking. You need smaller, accurate squares for the, the, the intricate details and stuff. I don't need those big carpenter squares that I could get from bigcarpentersquares.com. I just need, I need smaller stuff for fine woodworking. So, I ain't mad at those at all. So we got the Craig Accu cut, and then this guy, the Miles Craft Saw Guide. Miles Craft is a brand name that I am familiar with. As well as Craig. Ugh. It's got that, ugh. it's got that easy to open packaging that we all love. It feels, Temporary. <laughs> uh, that's that's a, that's an honest initial reaction. This saw fits in there like this. This is kind of hard to do because the blade's sticking out on the saw. And then this kind of goes over there like that. So I can use this with a jigsaw or a circular saw to cut a straight line parallel to the edge. Now. I don't have a lot of confidence. Like that is locked, that's locked down tight, but the saw can still move. So 
And then your edge has to be at least four inches away. You can't do anything much smaller than that because there's just not room for it. Okay. All right, so I didn't have high hopes because it felt kind of flimsy, but that, that's a perfectly straight cut with a jigsaw. All right, so I got what, I, what I'm trying to tell myself is don't judge the tool until you use it because it doesn't feel like the highest quality thing in the world, but that gave me the exact cut that I was looking for. Apparently you can flip the jig over put a nail into one of these holes and cut a circle. My blade bent is now cutting into the jig. Um, I think it's because this came loose in the jig and uh, yeah, we started. We cut into there and it's got a little grippy thing on here, but it, uh, it's, it's not super, super grippy. To make this better, it needs to have at least one more clamp in the back. Otherwise, it, it comes loose. And it was cutting a perfectly fine circle until you can see right here, there's melted plastic in there where I started to cut into the jig. So you can also put a circular saw in there. Um, how much was this? After tax... Always unplug your tools. After taxes and everything, this was $19.36. And I, I think, I think there are better options. Here's the thing, you can't trust somebody reviewing a tool who's only used it for a couple minutes. So don't, don't base the, go find somebody who's spent more time with this. Um, but I don't, I think there are better options for circle cutting and for saw guides. And we have something coming up that might be a better solution for straight cuts. It won't do the curved cuts, but this didn't do the curved cut. Let's go rank this and then get to our finale. Again, I don't like crapping on anybody's products and I've only used it for a couple minutes, but I don't ever, I don't see myself ever using it again just because it doesn't feel high quality. Maybe if you took your time and you, you read the instructions, you would get better use out of it than me, but I'm putting it at a number eight. You know what? No, nope, I'm gonna change my mind. I would use this before I would use this. I don't, I will never use that. All right, the grand finale. Ugh. Again, that packaging we all, we all love and enjoy. I love the challenge of removing a tool from its packaging. It comes with two tracks that you can combine into one. And you can see that lines up like that. It has the starting guide, which goes back here, which my Festool track does not have this, which this is kind of neat, is gives your saw something to rest and start on before entering the track. It just gives you more cutting length. So that's kind of neat. And then we got to figure out how to get our saw into this. This is a lot like the Miles Craft where it's just got the two points up top and then the saw fits in here. I haven't gone through all the directions yet, but there's a lot of play. I don't know how to tighten up that play. That's not very accurate, and I don't see how that even tightens up on the track. And I went through the instructions, and there's no way to adjust for that. So I'm just gonna continue on doing what the instructions say to do, and there's, so there's this little zero clearance cut 
that I got to cut off on here. So the blade is going to come in like at 30 second of an inch and I'm going to zero that out. And then we're going to go make a real cut with some real wood. So I can take that zero clearance line that we just cut and then line that up with my pencil line on the board here. And this is supposed to work like a regular track saw. And it's got some grip on there, so I don't need to clamp this down. I should just be able to use it as is. That, uh, there's just too much slop in there. I gotta, I, I gotta see what's going on here. Nowhere in the instructions does it talk about tightening up that 32nd of an inch tolerance. I did look it up. There are other people who complain about this as well. On how to remove the play between your AccuCut sled and the rails. I think that was the biggest complaint I saw on the review video I did a while back on it. Dorsum Tool Reviews has a fix for it using some low friction tape to go on the inside of the track here and that'll get rid of that play. I like, and it is, it is a really good fix and it worked perfectly for him. This seems like something Craig should have included in the box or at least build it with better tolerance because with my fancy Festool track saw, there's no play. It just cuts straight. In most cases, if you're just cutting down sheet goods, that's probably gonna be fine, but we do a lot of precision, fine woodworking, and we want a perfectly straight line. We don't want any play in that whatsoever. So, I had high hopes, but dang it. You could use it to break down big sheets of plywood. You could, I could also just take my circular saw and yeah, just. <laughs> I bought this because I needed this at the other shop. So it looks like I got to do a slight modification. I was ranking these on how much I would use them, but I think instead I want to change that up and rank them based on the value that I would get from them. Now, this wasn't scientific. If you want a real review of the Craig AccuCut system, go watch a full 20 minute video on that. Go watch a full 20 minute video on the Miles Craft. Don't buy or not buy based on, on this. But I'm gonna switch some things around. So, um, the, the mullet, dust collection thing, I think actually it gets moved to number one because it's a really cool system. I will get some great value out of that, although I do need to buy some more parts for it. So that kind of stinks, all right? These squares, these squares, not, uh, they, were, they were really good. I, I'm happy with these squares. And then next is the router plane. Definitely gonna get some use out of the router plane. I am going to put the Craig track here at, what What number is this, number four? Yep. Number four, there's probably better ways of drawing circles. I will never use the Miles Craft thing. I will never, I will never use these. We've done this quite a few times. I have been scammed before. Those who've seen the fan know what I'm talking about. Not a woodworking tool. And I've also been blown away many times by the quality of some of these tools. So check out that playlist here. We'll see you next time. I thought for sure this was gonna be the number one tool of the day. I really, I thought for sure. I expected more from Craig. Mullet came through. Mullet came through with the Hail Mary at the end.